Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Zuzka and today I have for you another bunny slope workout. This one is number two and all you need for this workout is three pound dumbbells and an exercise mat. This workout is great for anybody who wants to start moving and start exercising. These workouts are basic and will get you started and will get you going. And also I'm doing these type of workouts um, as my active rest day because these are great for recovery. If you have sore muscles after a super intense workout, then instead of not doing anything the next day just because your muscles are sore, it's better to actually move and um, get your muscles moving, get the blood flowing. So it speed up your recovery. So guys, get ready and let's do this. Grab your dumbbells, stand with your feet, shoulder width apart, engage your abs, do not arch your back, engage your lower abs so that you push your pelvis forward. Make sure that your chest is up, shoulders back and down. And we're gonna be doing side bend. So you're gonna bend sideways, stretching this part of your body and then Bring the dumbbells together, your hands together in front of you. Push your hips back, keep your back straight. Squat down until your thighs are parallel to the ground. And then stand up. And then you're gonna do side bend on the other side and squat again. So get ready, we're gonna do 20 reps. Side bend, hands together in front of you and squat. And on the way up, push your hips forward and squeeze your glutes. Side bend towards the other side. Hands together and squeeze your glutes. That's two. Three. Four. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more. Eleven, twelve, remember keeping your back straight, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, 17, 18, 19, and this is the last one. Our second exercise is going to be deadlift to heel raise. So you're going to bring your feet in about half it apart, toes facing forward, push your hips back, keep your back straight. And let just the dumbbells hang down and try to get your back parallel to the ground. Now you're gonna rise up, squeeze your glutes and go up onto your toes. Lift your heels off of the ground and back down. We're gonna do 20 reps. Get ready and let's go. Deadlift, heel raise. That's one. Two, three, four, keep your neck neutral, don't bend your neck, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten, and ten more, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, And that's 20. Now we're gonna do stationary lunge. So you're gonna step back and bend your knees. Try to get the back knee just a couple inches off of the ground, chest up, shoulders back and down. And you're gonna straighten both knees as you stand up, back down. Your front knee is pointing straight forward and the front thigh gets parallel to the ground. So get ready, we're gonna do 10 reps. Down, and straighten the knees. That's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and switch legs. Step back, and let's go. Down, straighten your knees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and last one, ten. So the last exercise for our legs and butt is gonna be side lunge deadlift. So you're gonna step to the side, make sure that this foot is flat on the ground. Do not roll your ankle like this. Keep your back straight, push your hips back, and let the dumbbells just hang in front of you. Now push off of this heel, stand up again, and switch sides, and stand up. And we're gonna do 20 reps. So get ready, and let's go. Down, and stand up. Two. Three. Four, five, push off of the heel, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and that's 20. Okay, get ready for part number two, our back, shoulders and arms. Stand with your feet, shoulder width apart, we're gonna do curl, so keep your elbow close to your body, we're gonna be working our biceps, curl, then switch arms, curl, 
and lateral raise. You're going to just raise your straight arms out to the sides. So, if this is too heavy with your dumbbells, then um, do this exercise without the dumbbells, but I think that if you use light dumbbells, like three pounds, it should be just fine. So, we're going to do 10 reps. Curl, curl, and lateral raise. That's one. One, two, and lateral raise. Two, keep your chest up, engage your core. And raise. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and last one, curl, curl, and raise, and that's ten. So now we're going to do diagonal punches, 20 reps. So you're going to punch diagonally in front of you. So you have to do this torso rotation. And then switch arms. Ready? 20 reps alternating. And let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and that's twenty. Now get down on the exercise mat. The next exercise is going to be kneeling row. So you're going to go on your four. Make sure that you're not arching your back like this. Engage your abs. Hand directly underneath your shoulder. You're going to grab one dumbbell and you will do a row. So you're going to lift your elbow all the way up as high as you can and bring it back down. And we're going to do 20 reps on each side. So get ready. And let's go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Bring it down. And just stretch, take a breather. You're gonna do 10 more reps on the same side. Ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You should feel it right here. Now switch arms. Same thing on the other side. Again, wrist directly underneath your shoulder. Do not arch your back and stick your butt out. Really engage your abs. And let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and relax, stretch, and let's do the last ten reps, one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job. And lay on your back. We're gonna do chest press. So make sure that your wrists are not bending like this. Make sure that your wrists are straight with the dumbbell. You have a strong grip on the dumbbell and your elbows are out at the same level of your shoulders. You're gonna press your lower back into the ground and you're gonna press both dumbbells up above your chest so that your wrist is now directly above your shoulder and bring it back down and we're gonna do 20 reps ready and go one two three four five six seven eight nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Bring the dumbbells down and we're going to move to the last part of this workout which focuses on abs. So we're going to start with the scissors, lift your shoulder blades off of the ground, extend your legs out, keep them off of the ground and you're going to lift one leg up and then switch. Your knee can be slightly bent if you don't have the flexibility or you can lock the knee, it's up to you. And you're just gonna do 20 reps. So make sure that you're not laying down, keep your shoulder blades off of the ground, and let's do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Relax. Next exercise is going to be in and out knees. So again, your shoulder blades off of the ground. You're going to bring your knees in and then extend your legs out. Get ready, we're gonna do 20 reps again. One, two, three, as close to your chest as possible. Four, five, shoulders off of the ground. Six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, don't rush, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, and relax. You should really feel it in your abs. The key to these exercises is to be really lifting your shoulder blades off of the ground, your upper body, upper back off of the ground, so that you really feel it in your abs. Like they should be really tensing the entire time. And do not rush. The longer you can hold this position, the more you're gonna be working those muscles. So, next exercise, again, pull your upper back off of the ground, grab one knee, 
extend the other leg out and just hold so that your only lower back you should be should be on the ground get into the position and let's hold one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty and relax now we're gonna switch legs so again pull the knee as close to your chest as possible lift um, your upper back off of the ground only your lower back is on the ground so grab the knee pull it close to you lift up and hold one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and relax. You should really feel it now in your abs. So, flip over, last exercise. We're gonna do elbow plank lifts. So you're gonna get down onto your elbows, make sure that your elbows are directly underneath your shoulders and Get into the plank, so up onto your toes. Do not drop your hips, do not push your hips up. Try to keep your body in one straight line. Squeeze your glutes. Now, bring your knees onto the ground and then get back into the plank. We're gonna do 20 reps. Ready? And go. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and relax. Now, push away from the floor with your hands. Do not shrug your shoulders though. Keep your shoulders away from your ears and just stretch your abs, squeeze your glutes. on the ground and now get onto your knees child pose and last stretch that we can do is downward dog so up onto your toes hips up and you can start with bent knees just make sure that you're lifting your tailbone up keeping your back straight and then if you can straighten the knees bring your heels down to the ground and bring it back down into the child pose and you can repeat the stretch two more times if you want if it feels good and that's it so <sighs> guys I hope you enjoyed this workout I feel like the last uh, part of this, the app part was quite challenging, but I hope you were pushing yourself. And I will see you next time in the next bunny slope workout or in one of my Friday workouts. And if you wanna work out with me on a daily basis and do high intensity interval training with me, then come to my zgym at zuskalite.com and sign up 
and I'll get you into the best shape of your life. So that's it for today and I will see you guys soon. Ciao!